I just feel like it's a, a whole new world and it's so beautiful to walk into a space where not only do the castings say, you know, are completely colorblind, they're gender blind, they're disability blind, they're blind in every way. And it's, it's honestly, it's remarkable. And um, I just, I'm so happy for actors now um, to be able to, to just be who they are. I remember Jimmy's another sort of Ivy League Latino that was stuck in this sort of the ghettoization and the marginalization of the, of our community. And, and he stuck, you know, many of us had to go through that, but him in particular, um, truly a very, very well-trained actor, um, highly educated, et cetera. But that, that, the, that character, um, really did not exist. Like I, I remember one year alone, I played eight Marias. Um, you know, it was really, it just, and so I think, I think looking at things now, I'm just, um, I feel really proud of us as a community. I feel like we really do stand for something. And once we, something is pointed out to us, we do respond. Like Me Too, for instance, now Me Too has evolved to be just poor behavior, abusive behavior, regardless of whether it's sexual or not, which is another thing that we put up with vastly from not only from executives and producers and directors, but also from actors. And that not putting up with that anymore is a great step in the right direction for our, our business. So I, I just feel proud to, and also I've had the privilege of working with Gabrielle Carteris, president of the Screen Actors Guild who is, has been an amazing president and she signed on to the Equal Rights Amendment lawsuit. And so, you know, I just sure. feel like as an industry, we really have come such a long way and in such a good way since that episode. 